Hi everyone and welcome along to another episode of Destination DCU. I'm Colm Cronin and today I'm delighted to be joined by a colleague from DCU's student recruitment team, DCU's alumni office, that's Ross Munley. Ross, how are you doing? I'm very well, thanks, and uh, delighted to join you and uh, looking forward to the chat. Yeah, somebody who, who has been involved in, in DCU in a number of, of different capacities. So I thought it would be really interesting to, to get your perspective, Ross. And I suppose, firstly, if I take you back to your, your student days, your time studying at DCU, can you talk to me a little bit about like that, the, the student experience that you had studying at uh, Dublin City University? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're. It's a, it's a good time to be talking to you because I'm, I'm living in my parents' house for a couple of weeks. Myself and Deirdre have just bought a new house, so we're we're waiting to move. But I'm in the DCU room at the moment. You see some of the pictures behind me. Uh, it's very much a DCU house. My two brothers also studied in DCU too. So, um, it's uh, yeah. We we've all had a fantastic time at uh, the university. I did. I I studied. Postgraduate at postgraduate level in DCU, so uh, P, postgrad taught for for a couple of different programs. Uh, most recently, completed the executive MBA uh, around about this time last summer. So, uh, yeah, the, the experience that I've had at DCU, and I'm very fortunate to have engaged with so much of the DCU community in terms of obviously being a student, being a staff member coached GA teams in the in the university um, and we might touch across uh, some of the different roles that I've held but uh, a huge 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 part of my life has been uh, associated with uh, DCU and I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, well congrats on the new house but it's, it's interesting to hear that I suppose you know that it, it's not just you and the family who've had that that DCU experience so you can talk to to the great experience that that students have both from your own perspective and also uh, from from your siblings so uh, that's good here and across different faculties as well uh, so uh, you know that that is and as you said you've also uh, worked in a number of different capacities so you truly have uh, you know at that 360 view of the university can you talk to me a little bit about like working at DCU then Ross and, and what that experience uh, has been like yeah I, I think whether staff or student the one thing that really resonates with anybody who goes through the doors of DCU is the unbelievable sense of community and uh, sometimes it can it can take a half an hour to cross campus because you bump into so many students and staff colleagues so many friendly faces uh, very helpful way to, to actually get work done as well because you meet people that you don't maybe don't need to organize meetings to go through things and and, and so on and, and and really when you walk across any of the campuses whether it be all hallows st patrick's or glass nevin uh, for me it's the friendly vibe it's that community feel you've probably got dave from the londis invite me in for for coffee or you can pop into the Helix. You wouldn't know when you might see a, a celebrity coming out of the Helix. And uh, and just the, the general feel good factor. You've such a busy, busy hub on any of the campuses, student accommodation, uh, clubs and societies, everything's so active. So what, what I find really uh, as, a, as a student, but also as a staff member is that constantly being energized because of all the activity across any of our campuses and uh, for me that's the that's just such a special ingredient and something that I'm very lucky to experience uh, every day that, that I'm in DCU. Yeah absolutely that that community spirit really exists across all of, of the campuses and uh, I think it, it whether you are students or staff it, it is there. Now you, you mentioned earlier on um, the coaching GA teams and for our you know I have, domestic students uh, watching this day that you you might well be a familiar face to them but for international students and prospective students watching this Ross can you talk to us a little bit especially more general but a little bit about GAA um, and, and a little bit about you know um, you know what, what you've done with with the GA at DCU yeah so I guess for, for anybody who, who's not familiar with Gaelic games it's our national sport here in Ireland, uh, one of one aspect of that is Gaelic football, 
and that's where I'm heavily involved uh, as a player uh, and in, in recent years in the university uh, I've also had experience coaching so uh, it's a very interesting dynamic when on one hand uh, I've had the experience of coaching players in DCU during the week and then a very different experience when our teams play against each other maybe at the weekend where that player I've been coaching during the week uh, I'm coming up against uh, come against coming up against them in, in a game at the weekend or uh, in a lot of cases when when those players graduate and and obviously become members of our alumni community where counties play against each other and um, it's it again that community feel that I talk about when you're on campus it extends past uh, past your time on campus as well we've got a global community uh, it really is amazing when we have our international chapters all over the world uh, when we go to different places people talk about their experiences on campus they talk about their time in student accommodation they talk about their time in, with the clubs and societies uh, performing in the helix uh, their first musicals maybe it's field sports track sports water sports the intervarsities representing the university coming up against all the other uh, higher education institutions that competitive aspect but also you talk to some people where uh, i bumped into uh, a guy on campus just last week and, and stopped to have a chat for for a while and he was talk he's now doing a phd in dcu and he was talking about how for him coming to campus and getting involved in the archery club and training three days a week not necessarily to compete but to make friends and to in enjoy campus and have something to look forward to after a busy day of lectures a and that's what the university is all about it's about providing everyone with an opportunity to develop and grow at whatever pace they would like and that's the special thing and i had the pleasure of working with the clubs and societies and it's amazing when you meet people after uh, when they've graduated and, and they talk about those experiences and and how obviously enough in the classroom environment you learn so much that's focused on your academics but if you get involved in the running of, of a club or society or or you compete or participate and so on there's so many life skills that you develop there in terms of communication teamwork um you know you have to think about budgets for your club or society for the year you have to spend appropriately you have to be kind of the kate caretaker if you've got five members or two thousand members of your club or society you, you develop responsibility for that so people grow so much in those roles outside of the classroom and when you hear when you when you speak to people after that that experience you realize how the academics and the extracurricular at whatever level people want to get involved in uh, they they grow as people through both experiences and and that's something that i'm always very proud of absolutely i think that's exactly right i mean the, uh, the it is a university the academics are at the forefront but that piece that life outside the classroom is so important and you do learn so much you know from the, the clubs and societies as you said and i think that's one of the reasons why our graduates are so competitive when they go out to compete for those career opportunities and what you said about like community and and, and the international chapters I was in uh, India a couple of years ago on a, um, a recruitment trip for DCU and I actually uh, a group uh, of alums got together. It was their first time all meeting up together um, in almost 10 years. They'd all studied um, computer science at DCU, had gone back home to India and obviously got married, had children. Life can get in the way, but they, they, they came together. And just like you said, Ross, they were sharing stories about their memories of campus, memories of, of life in Dublin and, and things like that. So, you know, it really does kind of resonate and travel out there around the world. And I suppose building on that, um, I'm, I'm interested as, as somebody, you know, who, who has studied, uh, you know, at DCU and, and come to, to, to Dublin to, you know, to, to call, I suppose, campus home. For, for students watching this who are going to be coming to study at, at DCU, whether that's this September or, or in the future, are there things, you know, that you would encourage them to do, be that on campus or around Dublin, things to, to see or do? Yeah, well, first of all, I'd say if you are coming to DCU, uh, get to know our three campuses. 
our three academic campuses, each one is so different to the other. Uh, and each one is very, very special in its own way. So what I would say to you is very much explore the three campuses. They provide a huge opportunity for you to get exercise, uh, to meet different people. Um, but the structure and the environment of, of each one is, is so very different. And I, I would encourage people um, to definitely get to know your campuses if you come to DCU because we're very, very, very lucky to, to have our three academic campuses. Um, I also think the clubs and societies is a big piece. I, I think you will develop far more skills and experience than you might think uh, if you get involved in clubs and societies and you can join as many as you like. I would also say in your first couple of weeks, engage with our services. Uh, we've got a fantastic student support and development uh, service that is there to help students when they come to campus and if you are if you are trying to settle in and you know it, it's amazing that even I now bump into people who say to me as graduates Ross I when you were working in careers I went and we had a consultation and we talked things out and I didn't do the masters at the time it wasn't the right time but I subsequently went back three years later and, and did the masters and everything has worked out so well. I'm, I'm working in this space. I'm, I'm fulfilling my my dreams and um, achieving the goals that I, that I wanted to achieve. And I think for, for me to hear something like that is it's just so fulfilling because I think the main thing for students to understand is that our staff on, on all of our campuses care about you progressing and they care about you going on. Our, like, uh, we talk about DCU always wanting transforming lives and, and societies, and, and that's in our strategy. But that is really what our, our students and graduates go on to do. So uh, I think engage with as much as you can if you do come to campus. Uh, learn about, as I say, our, our fantastic campuses. Get involved in the club, clubs and societies. The big thing about that is if you're interested in drama, you get involved in the drama stuff, you're meeting hundreds of people. Who have the same interest as you if you're interested in snowboarding or water sports straight away you're getting to meet like-minded people that will probably end up being lifelong friends of yours um, and then there's the other side the academics but also the support services and remember that they're there to help you progress through the university and nothing gives us more more pride than to walk through campus on graduation day column as as you know and see our students celebrating in the helix with their family uh, and friends. And, uh, you know, from my perspective, with my alumni hat on, I find that our the culture among our graduates, when we meet graduates at all our events, uh, people say, how can I help? Can I come back and mentor a student? Can I help with the, the alumni magazine? Can I engage with giving back to the university? And um, it really, really is coming together. And we've, we've before, the pandemic set in we, we were at the stage where we were having uh, 50 year reunions on our St. Patrick's campus uh, so people who've dedicated their whole lives to teaching and transforming the lives of young people coming back for for a 50 year anniversary and just so many special occasions and that's for me that's the real message destination DCU you will you will arrive you will have a good time but remember you are part of our alumni community forever and you're always welcome in the university and uh, we have a fantastic family of DCU graduates. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's uh, a perfect summation, Ross. I mean, they're just for students to be aware that, you know, there is help and support uh, throughout all aspects of the journey, whether it is during that period where you're a prospective student and, and you're making your way to DCU after you arrive, as Ross said, to get in, involved, to take advantage of those opportunities, but like on, on the academic side of things, but on the support services, but also in terms of extra extracurricular activities um, and really getting out to, to explore uh, the campus but and, and to explore Dublin and also to remember that yeah after you graduate it doesn't end there you are part of the, the DCU community 
and there will be great ways wherever you are in the world to continue um, that relationship with DCU. Um, so really all that remains to, to be said at this point, Ross, is to thank you for taking the, the time to, to chat to me. I think it's been a really enlightening conversation to get your insights into to life at DCU. Uh, my, and my wish... I actually have one good story before. before yeah, give, give, you, let's give, give uh, me, give me yeah, that. I, I, we always love stories on Destination DCU. Every, well, every year we do our alumni awards and it's generally in front of it. It's a sellout black tie crowd in, in the Helix in the Mahoney Hall in, in the Helix. And uh, in more recent years, one of our recipients who, who, who received an outstanding achievement award for, for leadership held a huge leadership role within the country. And on the night of the awards, uh, showed us uh, his keering. And his keering was the room number and from his from when he stayed on campus in the on-campus accommodation back many 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 well a number of decades ago let's say that uh, and that's how special his time in dcu was that it, the keys his keys that he carries around every day was that keering from the room back when when he stayed on, on campus and this is someone who's gone on to hold uh, you know a huge leadership role within the country and i think that's dcu People remember their time. Uh, they remember their time with us. We prepared them to go on and transform lives and societies. And it's very, very special when you hear stories like that. Yes, indeed. And it, it, it just a testament, I suppose, to that, you know, feeling part of the community that even decades on, it still resonated and it was still there traveling around in his uh, in his pocket with him. So uh, a, a true, uh, you know, a, a great story to, to share to, to wrap up this interview. Ross Mudley, thank you very much for taking the time to chat to me today. My pleasure and hope to see everybody join us in September or in the years to come on campus. Thank you very much.